point of this the difference between allah becoming less when he creates things and the difference between the level of the ocean becoming less is infinite the level of the ocean may become 0.000000 somewhere 0.00 somewhere it will end but allah subhanahu wa taala not even and not even a bit becomes less he is all powerful that allah subhanahu wa taala is such a god who becomes less we don't worship such god who become less if on creating he will sometimes lose his power so this god is eternal absolute as i said in my talk he is absolute and eternal everything depends on him he doesn't depend on anything where did allah come allah was before the universe created where did he fit in where did he get created he is uncreated you ask me the question where did he come into existence he is uncreated it's like you asking me that when i tell that my friend he told me that my brother tom he gave birth to a child is the child girl or a boy i being a doctor know very well a man cannot give birth to a child so where does the question come whether it's girl or a boy so you are asking me when did allah come fit in the picture allah is uncreated because he is uncreated the question does not arise when did he come he is there question does not arise regarding a third part of the question that when people get sick they run to the hospital they don't run to the temple they don't run to the mosque not to the church the brother may not be knowing all the people i am a doctor i know that when the doctors give up the thing we doctors say <laughs> we doctors say who is shafi it is he who cures that doesn't mean a person gets sick only go to the temple because the quran says in surah nahl chapter 16 verse 43 as well as in surah furqan chapter 25 verse 59 if you are in doubt go to a person who knows who is an expert if you get sick besides pain to allah subhanahu wa taala go to a person who is an expert in medicine go to a doctor quran says that <laughs> but even after going to the doctor have faith in allah because he is the person who cures you he can cure you with a doctor or without a doctor so allah subhanahu wa taala says we don't believe in blind belief no muslim scholar will ever say if you are sick don't go to a doctor go to a doctor but finally the person who cures is allah subhanahu wa taala that's why all the doctors when all their brain all their science all the medicine fails they say it is only allah who can save you assalamu alaikum brother I am Dr. Kamar Ara, and my question is: Christians explain the concept of Trinity as well as that God can take human form by giving the example that water can be present in three states: as solid, like ice; liquid, as water; and gas, as vapor. Yet it is one and the same water. Similarly, a person can also be a father. a brother a businessman at the same time but yet he is the one and the same person so why not the father the son and the holy spirit the sister has a question regarding trinity the christians have the concept of trinity father son holy ghost the previous question was i proved it that from the bible jesus peace be upon him never believed in trinity Now she gave an example. She is giving a human logic, asking a question that if water can be present in three states, as solid, liquid, and gas, as ice, water, and vapor, then water can be in three states. Why can't God be? Similarly, the Christian missionary is posing the question: Even God Almighty can be present in three forms: Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, if you analyze, I do agree, matter can be in three states: solid, liquid, and gas. But you should realize. that if water is present in three states solid liquid gas as ice water and vapor in all the three states the constituent the component of water is the same h2o even if it's ice the constituent and components is h2o even when it is water it is h2o even when it is vapor it is h2o even when it's ice even when it is gas or liquid it is h2o 
That's very important. Now let's analyze the example they gave of Trinity. Father, Son and Holy Ghost. In three forms, if you say, for sake of argument, I agree. But are the constituent of all these three things, Father, Son, that is Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, and Holy Ghost the same? We know very well that human beings have got flesh and bone. A spirit and God Almighty has got no flesh and bone. Human beings require to eat. God Almighty does not require to eat. And the same message Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, gave. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 39 to 43, that, Behold my hands and feet. It's I myself. Handle me and see. That a spirit has got no flesh and bone, as you see me have. And He gave His hands and feet. And they were overjoyed. To prove what? That He was not a spirit. He was not God Almighty. And the verse continues, Do you have meat to eat? And the next verse says that he ate broiled fish and honeycomb. To prove what? That he was God? To prove that he was not God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, A spirit has no flesh and bone as I have. Proving that he was not a spirit, he was not Almighty God. Regarding the second example, just to give the example, that a person can be a father, a brother and a businessman at the same time. So why can't God be Father, Son and Holy Ghost? It's a very good example. And I do agree that one person can be a father, can be a brother and can be a businessman at the same time. Many people out here also may be father, brother and businessman at the same time. But if suppose the sister of that man tells a secret to the brother, but natural, even the father and businessman will know that secret. Because one and the same person. If a sister tells a secret to the brother, who is a father and a businessman at the same time, when the secret is told to the brother, even the father part of that man and businessman part of that man will know that secret. But when you read in the Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 13, verse number 32, it says, Of that day, of that hour, knoweth no man, no, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the son of man, but the father. The knowledge of the hour of that day, no one knows Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, except the Father, not even the angels, not even himself. If Father, that's God Almighty, and Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, one and the same, and if knowledge of hour is known to God Almighty, even Jesus should know about it, peace be upon him. So this proves that they were not one. <laughs> father, Father, if the brother dies, even the man and the businessman will die. If the brother dies, even man and businessman will die. So when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, according to the Bible, according to the Christian, he died on the cross, do you mean to say, even God Almighty and the Holy Ghost died? Assalamu alaikum. I am Riyaz Vadkaunkar and a businessman. So my question is, Allah is the most appropriate name for God. So besides Quran, is it mentioned in any other religious scriptures? To pose the question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained my talk, is an appropriate name for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God. Is this name Allah mentioned anywhere else in the other religious scriptures? If you analyze most of the religious scriptures which have the concept of Almighty God, somewhere or the other, most probably, one of the attributes of God Almighty is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if you read the Bible, in the Hebrew language, they call God Almighty as Elohim. Him is a sign of respect in the Semitic languages. So actually it is Elo, Elo for God. And if you read the Bible, Old Testament also, it says for God, Elo or Ella. And in the English Bible, revised by Reverend Scofield, he gives the spelling of Ella as alternatively either as E-L or E-L-A-H or A-L-A-H. They pronounce as Ella. El, Ella or Ella. A-L-A-H. We Muslims, when we write in English Allah, we write A-L-L-A-H. But Reverend Scofield wrote A-L-A-H. They pronounce Ella, we pronounce Allah. When I was in school, I was taught to two do do geo geo is what not go it is go 
I was taught beauty but, beauty cut, beauty nut, beauty, not but, but. I said, what sort of a